Okay, so this is a hard level question. It relates to the concept of annuities. Um, basically, we're given a situation where you're a football player and, or you're an agent for a football player who's renegotiating his terms. So this guy got an offer um, for the salary structure. So you get he gets seven million now, four point five million in year one, five million in year two, six million in year three, six point eight million in year four, seven point nine million in year five, and eight point eight million in year six. Um, he wants you to renegotiate the terms for him. He wants to have a nine million dollar signing bonus, and he wants his contract value increased by one point four million dollars. He wants an equal salary every three months instead of uh, unequal cash flows on a yearly basis. And we know that the interest rates are 5.5%, which is compounded daily. And um, we're assuming that it's 365 years, uh, days in one year. So what is the amount of his quarterly paycheck is what we're really trying to find out. So this is, uh, because this is a difficult question, there are a few steps. First of all, we know that the rate of return is 5.5% compounded daily, but we have our salary cash flows on a yearly basis. So we, you know, the two figures don't really match. Um, so we need to find the interest rate on a yearly basis. So to do that, we're going to calculate the effective annual rate of 5.5% as if it were compounded daily. So to get that, step one, we have effective annual rate. And it's going to be equal to 1 plus 0.055. So this is just, recall your basic effective annual rate versus um, stated annual rates formulas. We get an effective annual rate of 5.65%. Why do we want the effective annual rate? Um, well, to really proceed with the question, we need to know the present value of all of these payments, which is why we need the annual rate, because these payments are on an annual basis. So, so step two is we're going to find the present value of the offer of the um, contracted offer. The present value of the offer is just the present value of each cash flow individually, and you're going to use your annual rate of 5.65% to discount it. So the present value of the offer is 7 million. Uh, you don't need to discount it because you're receiving that today. It's time period zero. Plus Four and a half million, four, five, six, five. This is going to be compounded for one year, so you don't, your T is equal to one. Plus five million. You're receiving this cash flow in time period two, so you're going to be power two. Plus six million. That's going to be in period three, so this is to the power of three. And so on and so forth and until you get to 8.8 million divided by 1.0565, and that's your annual cash or your annual interest rate. And you're receiving the last cash flow in period six, so this is to the power of six. So the present value of the offer once you calculate each term, is yes. thirty-eight million six hundred and ten thousand and four eighty-two point fifty-seven. So that's the present value of the offer that the guy got, and that's going to be um, a key step in proceeding to calculate the quarterly payment. So now, next step is we know that this is the present value of the offer, but he wants it to be increased by 1.4 million. So step three is we're going to take the present value now. And 
add on 1.4 million to really calculate how much this guy wants to get paid. Once we add 1.4 million, we know that the total amount of money that this guy wants is 40 million. $10,482.57. So that's good, we're kind of making some progress. Um, he also wants, what's that for? He also wants a signing bonus of nine million, but he wants it today. So what does that mean for a person value calculation? Well, we can take out the nine million here because he wants it right now and it's not gonna be part of his annuity payment. So we're going to take the present value of how much he wants overall, and we're going to subtract 9 million from it, because he's getting that now. And it's not going to factor into his quarterly payments. And then we have So this is one of the last steps. We know that um, 40 million minus 9 million is um, 31 million ten thousand four hundred eighty-two dollars. So what does that mean for us? Well, this is the amount that is going to go into the annuity. So this amount is going to be equally paid out for the next um, X amount of years every three months. So really this is the present value of our annuity. Now, before we go on to calculating the actual cash flows. Um, we have an interest rate of 5.65%, but that's going to be in yearly terms. He wants to get paid every three months, so that's quarterly. So now we need to convert, um, convert the rate to quarterly terms. Well, instead of um, reverse calculating it from this rate, we're just going to use the daily compounding rate again. And we're going to, oh, that would be an annual rate. I'm going to call it reflexive. Quarterly rate. I'm going to take our daily rain. Um, and divide it by 365. And we're going to take it to the power of 91.25. So that's just the number of the days in each quarter. So we know that the number of the days in a year is 365 divided by 4, we get 91.25. Minus 1. Minus 1. So our effective quarterly rate is 1.384%. Um, so sub 6. Finally, we have all the terms we need to calculate the payments every three months. We have the interest rates, which is 1.384. We have the length of the annuity, so we know that it's going to last for six years. And we have the present value. So this is the present value, 30, 31,010,482.57. We know that the present value of an annuity equation is PVA. Cash flow. And we can finally substitute all the terms that we already have in there. So 31. present value of annuity is equal to C. That's our quarterly cash flow, that's what we're trying to calculate. Now, what are we going to use for RT? Um, we have six years, but we know that he wants to get paid every three months so quarterly, so we're going to take six times four because there are four quarters in one year. And that's going to be our time period, because it's 24, divided by 
And once you simplify this equation, you get a quarterly payment of 1,527,000. So really, he wants to he wants you to renegotiate the contract so that he would get paid 1.5 million every quarter. Uh, so it might seem like a long and difficult question at first, but you just need to be very methodical in terms of solving it and just follow the steps, and you'll arrive at the correct solution.